Now to Will Kane, he's the co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend. How do you feel being lectured to by Nancy Pelosi of all people? Bravo tonight. Thank you. Just a masterpiece. You know, when I listen to what you had to lay out for us tonight, I think about bread and circus. I think that there's what's real, and then there's reality TV. Here's what's real. You may be from East Palestine, Ohio. You may be vote red. You may be Republican. And you have come to realize what the government is there for, what it's capable of. You may be from Lahaina. Maui. You vote blue. You're a Democrat, or at least you have your whole life. And now you, too, just like the person from East Palestine, realize that government is too bureaucratic and too fat to ever really muster any real empathy and too incompetent to solve any problems, but they just keep trading you false promises. Those two individuals you laid out are emblematic of our federal government. They give you false promises. They are con men. And their promise is, Jesse, why they think it was a good summer is reality TV. They indicted their villain. They went after their man. They are defined by Donald Trump. And that's what they want to put all over our TV screens for the next year. And then so they don't have to talk about the smash and grab rings. They've legalized smash and grab. Think about that bill. You can have to sit around while people loot your store and you can't stop them. That's legalizing communism. Do you think they'll ever be asked about that? Well, look at the clip that you played. I'm no expert, but I think those shop store owners were Sikh. You know, they were like that man you also played in a video from Lahaina. He is Polynesian. He is Hawaiian. These people have been sold promises for the better part of half a century that if you go one way, you're on the side of virtue. Right. And this party looks out for you. If you go the other way, you're on the side of the racists. I would imagine reality has literally, in the case of those shop store owners in Sacramento, mugged them in the face. They now, tell you to come here for the American dream. Yep. You can sell what you need to sell. You can make a living. You send your daughter or son to colleges. And that's all going away. Yeah. Through crime, through inflation, through immigration. It's, it's all going away. And they're saying everything is fine. That's right. This is going to have long-term consequences on this country. Well, they say that the most impactful voting issue for any individual is quality of life. Can I walk down that street safely? Can well, I not you, because you get mobbed by fans. Well, besides me, except when I'm next to you, uh, <laughs> then I am quietly in the shadows Stop of it. your bright Stop light. It. Stop it. But yes, no, the quality of life of being able to walk down the street safely, to run your store without getting robbed, these are the types of issues that can no longer be delivered. The promises are, are, are empty checks now when it comes to Democrats. You said something earlier. Move to San Francisco. You said something about the reality TV shit. It is a show. It's a reality TV show. When he puts the aviators on and lies, that's when you know the show starts. But the real reality TV show is that they have defined themselves for now, what are we looking at, eight years by an existence in opposition to Donald Trump. Right. And I am telling you, the reality TV, as you point out, that they're going to sell for the oncoming 18 months and have sold throughout the summer is we got the bad guy. He is indicted four times over. We have reintroduced your purpose. Are, are they worried that that plot might see a twist? Well, I don't know that they're worried. I, I would guess that the adjective I would describe or I would pick would be surprised. We indict him, his numbers go up. We indict him, his numbers go up. I can keep going because it's four times. Right. We indict him, his numbers go up. I mean, he's, he's the only one they want arrested. <laughs> Maybe it's honestly a sad story we shouldn't be joking about. But happy Labor Day. You will be working tomorrow. I'm working. Uh, what do you have? Something where you wear all white and sip a bubbly drink? Please. You play water polo. <laughs> Goodbye, Will. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.